Hey everybody, welcome to the Digimedia Dude free tutorial. Today I have a guest that's gonna show us and talk to us about VR and 360 video. So Tim Dashwood of uh, Dashwood Cinema Tools, welcome to the Digimedia Dude tutorial. Thank you, Marcelo. So this is exciting because you are going to show us or tell us about VR in 360 and uh, you have a tool, a plugin for a variety of NLEs. Here you're showing us Premiere Pro and how you can use that. So I'll let you take it away. Okay, great. So with 360 video, generally what we do is we uh, store it in a format uh, called eco-rectangular projection. And uh, this, you're seeing this format right now. And it's a, it's a two... Uh, to one aspect ratio. And basically it works exactly like a map of the world. So you're taking something that's spherical, um, and an image that you could basically wrap around a sphere and it would perfectly line up with itself. And uh, you're stretching it out flat so that we can store it in a flat medium like video. Um, so of course uh, the way it works is that uh, in the very center that basically is uh, the coordinate would be zero degrees by zero degrees on uh, on both axes and uh, you'll see that at the, the left edge and the right edge they perfectly line up and so if you were looking in a um, in a head mount display that would be directly behind you the, the left and right edge and of course all along the top is directly above you. That gets all stitched together, and you can see that you get a lot of distortion as you go towards the top, and we call this the zenith, of course. And uh, down below is directly below you, and we call this the nadir. You know, this is the way cartographers, you know, hundreds of years ago were, were mapping the world or attempting to map the world was using this type of projection. And, uh, and so that's what we work with. The only problem is that when you're trying to edit this type of material, uh, you don't really have a good indication of what you're seeing. So, uh, for example, I've put a logo down here, and it's been automatically stretched by my plugin, but it's really, you can't even hardly read what it says down here. So, um, I thought that was a big problem. So, <laughs> about a year and a half ago, I decided to sit down and find the solution to this problem. And uh, so, what we created... And this, by the way, works not just in Premiere Pro, but also Final Cut Pro and After Effects. Um, we created a Mercury Transmit plugin. So if you go into your playback preferences here, uh, you'll see the, the Dashwood Mercury Transmit plugin. And so basically what's happening is it's transmitting the frames via our plugin to our secondary application. And uh, here's our application here that's running in the background. It has its own parameter panel that you can make different kinds of adjustments. Uh, but the great thing is that you can plug in a head-mounted display. So at the moment, and I'll just make this a little bigger here so you can see what we're looking at. Uh, at the moment, I'm working with a, an Oculus Rift, and so I have that plugged in. And look at that. You look down and you can see this logo exactly the way you're going to see it when we eventually upload this video to YouTube. So you can see what we're seeing here is the live output from this eco-rectangular projection. And it's nice and perfectly clear and everything. Um, so you can see how this is, was very valuable. Uh, and the great thing is that we have this running uh, basically in, in real time. So um, this sequence isn't rendered. But uh, the idea is that when an edit happens in the sequence, the edit happens at the same moment in time in the headset so that you can edit to music and there's no latency whatsoever. Now, do you and need we, a headset to edit? You don't. So this is something that has to do with uh, 360 VR Express. Uh, the new version of the HMD viewer um, doesn't even require a headset. So, it so will, you use the viewer to edit, basically. Or to see right, exactly. Around. Right, exactly. That makes sense. And this will work After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, um, and there's even a way to make it work in Apple Motion as well. And the idea is, once again, if you can't afford a headset, you've, you know, maybe you've just used a couple GoPro cameras that you have um, and shot fisheye, and you still want to, you know, put it into a spherical video and show it to your friends. Um, you don't need a headset. You can uh, still see a preview, and you can just pan around, and just use the arrow keys, and uh, and that also works really well. And that will be free. 
completely free. And in fact, uh, this is free except for the stereoscopic, uh, the more advanced options that we've been adding to it. Um, so yeah, anyone can use, can use this viewer. So that, that was kind of where everything started for this product. And we, we first demonstrated this, um, at NAB last year. And, uh, and then of course we're adding all of the new features to it this year. We're also adding a feature. I can't show it to you, uh, at the moment, but we're adding something very special that we will debut at NAB. It'll be neat. If anyone comes to our booth to see it, they'll be kind of blown away by it, but I can't talk about it yet. Well, we're definitely going to be there, so we'll want to see it and put it on our expo coverage. Okay. But uh, Tim, unfortunately, we are pretty much out of time on this tutorial. I do want to thank you for giving us this quick overview, and it looks really exciting. If people want to learn more from you or about the product, where do you recommend they go? Dashwood360.com. That will take you directly to the product page uh, for uh, 360 VR Toolbox. Fantastic. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like our videos. So until the next one.